Hey, party people! It is almost August 1st, which means that early Lego sets are starting to pop up on shelves. We had to make a quick stop first because I was almost out of gas. But essentially, the plan for today is to head over to Kohl's because our good friend Josh from Josh Build Stuff posted that he found a bunch of early sets there. The Kohl's that's closest to us has a very small toy selection, so it's always kind of iffy whether or not stuff pops up there. But the Kohl's we're going to has a huge toy area and apparently a lot of stuff. So we're gonna head over there. I'm excited. We made it to Kohl's. Ross is already outside. He is really excited. He's like, hurry up, Emily. I'm like, okay. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. There's so many releases August 1st. There's Sonic. There's that dollhouse thing, the four plus stuff. Lego City, a ton of Star Wars. I think that's what Ross is most after. There's like the Yavin, the new clone packs. There's like the three different mechs that are kind of funky looking, but kind of cool too. And then Dreams comes out August 1st as well, I believe. That whole new theme looks so cool. And the show's really good. We've seen the first few episodes and love it. I'm excited to see more from it. Hopefully they keep making it. Like hopefully this season season of dreams or like wave whatever does well because it's kind of weird and cursed but I love it and then I don't know if I mentioned it yet but Sonic is coming out August 1st as well there's a lot Ross already ran ahead but I feel like he would look so cute in something like this we just got back from Disney and had the best time but yeah hopefully they have a bunch of stuff here Josh was here only like four hours ago and he said they were stocked so hopefully it's not sold out yet I doubt it will be but you never know Ross hurried back here and he already found a few new things this one's new so this is the spider tank feels like it's old because it's from the part of the show that aired like months and months ago but what's really cool about it is Bo-Katan has that arm printing there on the side oh that does look really nice oh no way Ross actually found the last clone pack too. He is stoked. That's awesome. I'm surprised they even had any of these left. That's kind of wild. Oh, and then they have the new Darth Vader mech that I don't really care too much about, but it's kind of neat. Mechs. Let's see. They got Broba Fett. Broba Fett. Stormtrooper Sally. Why is this Stormtrooper Sally? I just made up a name. Okay, okay. <laughs> I guess he's Swallow Fett. I do not care about mechs. These are like the one part of Lego that I just could not care less about. The minifigs are usually pretty cool, and I'm sure they look kind of neat on display if like you do it right, you know? Imagine like having those alongside some brick heads or Funko or something like that for like a really nice shelf display but for the most part I am never really drawn too much to these. No they're kind of a letdown for me. In my eyes I understand why Lego is making these sets but to me they just take up room for like other Lego sets. Okay this is so weird I have no idea why this is on the shelves. They have assembly square First of all, isn't this retired? Second of all, what is this doing at Kohl's? This is never at Kohl's. I've never seen like a big D2C set like this, especially modular on the shelves at Kohl's. The box is a little bit beaten up, but like, I wonder if it's for sale, like for a decent price. Cause that says retired, right? I believe it is, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. I always forget. It's been on the shelf longer than most other modulars. I might like do a price check on that cause this doesn't make any sense to me at all. Oh, Ross found another new set. Oh, nice. One. Oh, look at this. The Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. That's pretty cute. Look at the little Yoda. Is that a new minifigure? No, I don't believe there's anything special about him. I actually just bought the last version of this a few months ago. So I don't need this one, but it is cool to see. Oh, and then looking down here, they do have the new Sonic sets early as well. These do come out August 1st and I've seen a lot of content around about these. We have them as well. They're really fun and I like them more than the Mario stuff. I like Mario as an IP better but the Sonic sets I feel like are what Mario should have been. Like the playability and the different levels and such. They're really cool. And speaking of Mario actually they do have the new Donkey Kong sets here. The characters look pretty funky and I like that this one has the guitar. I'm not super knowledgeable on Donkey Kong. I don't think I've ever actually played it but like I've played as Donkey Kong in Super Smash Bros and stuff like that. Found another one. Oh, you got one? Oh, cute. What's this one? The Rambi, Rambi the Rhino? Rambi, Rambi. I'm not sure which one it is. And then they also have Gabby's Dollhouse, which is kind of cute. I've never heard of this, but apparently it's on Netflix. I don't know. I'm still waiting for Lego to make Bluey sets. That would be incredible. And then they have some Batman sets here that are new as well. Is it just this one? I think it's just this one. It might actually be all three of these. I don't really keep up with DC Lego as much because first of all, the DC movies have just been terrible. And second of all, I'm kind of sick of lego batman but i believe these are new right they have like the new oh style. yeah yeah i guess so how many uh joker versus batman sets can they make huh? joker looks really cool i love that torso printing and speaking of the big sets that they have they also have the lego ideas tales of the space age i think this looks really visually appealing and i've given away a few of them on twitch in the past i don't have this one yet it's just the kind of thing that like I just don't need it, you know, but if I had it, it would be cool. And I feel like it would be a really good gift for anyone who's like a super nerd about space or like loves 
NASA. Come on, and over here, this one's new as well, I believe. I've not seen this on the shelves yet. This is kind of creepy looking. I don't think I've actually even seen any pictures of it. Venomized Groot. He looks really cursed and scary, but I also kind of like him. And it looks like you can actually switch him out to be like venomized or just like totally venom, like moderately venom and then totally venom there. That's actually pretty cool. I like this. I feel like that'd be like a good Halloween display. It just looks spooky. And then they also have this Lego City set, the ice cream shop. This one is really, really cute. I love that ice cream build on the top. And it kind of reminds me of like the BTS Lego Ideas set with the ice cream, except like more brick built ish i love that polar bear minifigure i don't know this one just like really caught my eye i have it at home already i've already built it and i loved it i really want to find a way to like incorporate it into the lego city and like modularize it a little bit better but it is mostly fully enclosed already which is kind of cool and that one comes out august 1st as well oh wait right behind it we have this one as well that one's a new one wait are these new too i don't think that one's new are it's these new like a, no it's kind of like a mix like a new and old set like it's all really like disorganized but it kind of makes it fun I like this one a lot because it comes with a little baby turtle and Aww, a big turtle. You love turtles. Turtle was actually Ross's first word. That's true. He loves turtles. We actually got to meet Crush and we did uh, turtle talk with Crush at Disney World last week. Oh cool, and then they have a few more of the Super Mario Donkey Kong sets in the front here. There's the Rhino one again, and then Picnic at Mario's House. That's kind of a cute build, and I still think back to like when we had a little Mario world in the Lego City. I'd love to do something like that again, but better, because my mock skills were not as good as they are today. Not that they're that good now, but it would be cool to give it another try. And then you know, while I'm here, I have to check out Bluey stuff. They have this thing here with Winston. Cute. I'm still looking for some of the bluey plushies and I'm having trouble finding them. Oh wait, but I just found all the Barbie stuff. We just saw the Barbie movie today. I don't know if you can tell by, you know, this. But it was really cute. I loved it. Ross loved it. And I want to go see it again at some point. I just happened to check at the back and they have the new Minecraft set too. Oh, I'm look so at excited. you go. This is really frustrating because I just bought the old version of this character for like 30 or $40. And then they decided to remake it right after I bought it. <laughs> of course. So I am really excited. This is the pumpkin house or the pumpkin farm. And it comes with a witch mob as well as a little froggy. I am super excited. Aww, are you going to get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Oh, they got the axolotl house. Oh, that's score. cute. Wow. wow. That's <laughs> okay, wait. There should be two more sets. The iron golem and then one other one that I think is kind of small. That might be here. Oh, the crafting box. I don't see those back here. But I am very happy to get these two. Yeah, that's exciting. I actually want to get more of this one, but I'm just going to go ahead and wait and see if I can get it on sale later. But super excited I got this. <laughs> this is a good haul. Ross is giddy. Wait, so are these like actual builds in the game or is this just like more creative? So Lego's been doing this thing where they just kind of like make sets based off of different mobs in the game, but then like build it bigger. So you've seen things like the bee or the pig hotel or whatever it's called. Mm. So they finally did the axolotl. What's really interesting about this set is this is the first time it comes with this like blue axolotl. It's oh, that's like pretty. yeah, so that's a new one. And then has a little axolotl on a bucket there, which is cute. I really like the skin he has here, the little scuba Steve. Get it because his name is Steve. And a drown. So I'm really excited about this one, but not as much as I'm excited about this one. This one is probably the one I wanted the most next to the Iron Golem set. And it looks like they also have the new Gabby's dollhouse set. Again, I have no idea what this actually is, but they do look really cute. These little dudes in here kind of look like from Fabuland from like the 70s or whatever that was. I just think they look kind of cute. I don't need this in my life at all, especially since I've never heard of it, but they're kind of fun. And it's kind of wild too, seeing how fully stocked they are with friend sets. I even found a few that are retired from a few years back, like that whole carnival wave, kind of crazy. Oh, and they also have the new botanical gardens here. This is one of my favorites. I love this set. We have two of them and we like combined them into Lego city to make like more of a fully enclosed gardens because like most Lego friend sets, it's open in the back. But yeah, I think that's everything in terms of new sets. This is kind of crazy. I've never seen a Kohl's this fully stocked before release day. I know Kohl's in some places are really good, but here in Austin, Texas, they're really not. Sometimes you can find the CMFs early, and that's what I found early at Kohl's, but never full waves of sets and from multiple themes. It's kind of insane. This Kohl's is definitely better than our local Kohl's. It's wild here. This is crazy. 
W. <laughs> All right, Ross is absolutely thrilled right now. We're gonna go check out and then maybe check out some other stores in the area. Maybe they'll have some more stuff. I'm feeling lucky. Oh wow, Halloween stuff is already out. This is kind of fun. I'm excited to decorate this year. Oh wait, no way to have a Mickey pillow. It's probably stupid expensive, but I really want it. 35, yeah, I'm not gonna get that. So cute though, little ghost. And then a Star Wars one too. Okay, wait, this little succulent thing is adorable. $60? What is going on? The line's crazy. Uh, I'll take it. Appreciate it. Check this out. Um, they itemized it as preschool toys. Wait, they what? <laughs> it's uh, when they rung it up, it was just like preschool toys. So that's a good way to make you feel good about yourself. Yeah, that says a lot about who we are as people, I guess. What about that was for preschool toys? Yeah, it says like six and up, right? Eight and up? Eight and up is like third grade. Come on. <laughs> what is happening? We're at least at a third grade IQ. At least. I always forget about the Kohl's cash. It's actually pretty sweet if you play that game. I just never think to go to Kohl's for Lego, especially for our closest Kohl's. Doesn't really have a lot of good stuff. Yeah. But I'm excited for this car haul. Yay! What time is it, Ross? It is time for a car haul. Car haul! Car, car haul! Car haul! Car all right, haul. check it out. We're going to start with this one here. This is... I, I think it'll be better if I right, explain right. these. I'm an expert. This is the pumpkin Minecraft set. It comes with the witch. This is basically Minecraft, but like Hocus Pocus version in minecraft that's what this is he's throwing the um grimace shake to the giant pumpkin house and this guy's just chilling he's like what's happening why why am i under attack there's this gray blob apparently it's a frog overall it's pretty cute we made a little pumpkin pie yeah i like that okay next before we go to the next one so what's cool about this set other than the return of the long-awaited witch is that it comes with the pumpkin pie and of course it comes with the ingredients you would use to make a pumpkin pie right pumpkins sugar and eggs over here we that's all a, know that yes. yes 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 that's the only three ingredients and it also is the first time we get a boat in this color here of this dark red as well as the two little shovels that you use for oars for paddling this is fun i like it uh, something else i really like is like again the gray frog i like to collect all the different mobs and all the colors uh, which is a terrible way to spend your time and money, but uh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Next up, we have the Minecraft axolotl face. It's a giant face of an axolotl. I don't think the body's included. If it is, that's what this is here. We have Scuba Steve and Zombie. Uh, there's a dolphin, axolotl, axolotl. And a clownfish. Oh wait, is that what that is? And then Nemo is included too. <laughs> so yeah, this set has everything. <laughs> Well, she pretty much hit everything on the nail with this set. Really, the only thing that's exclusive to this is the new skin for the character, as well as this new color of axolotl. This is probably the least interesting set of the new Minecraft sets. However, it is the cheapest, and it's a good way to just get another drowned in some underwater things, as well as the dolphin, which hasn't been around for a long time either. I think it was the pirate ship. Okay, we actually just had to move the car to the shade because my phone overheated because it's 100 degrees outside in Texas. It is miserable here. Remember, if you're hot, they're hot. Bring in your pets. Yes. And their little footies on the pavement get burnt, so be careful. Pet fact of the day. Anyways, here is the long-awaited set that we were most excited for. I saw Josh post this on his story, and he told me he was at the Coles on the other side of town. I was really worried that they wouldn't have this set anymore, and I actually couldn't find it for a while, but it was buried behind some other sets. But this is the new Ahsoka Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Very excited. This is what a battle pack should be four troopers with a small build that's pretty close to minifig scale and I'm really excited about it. Again, I do have some qualms, a lot of people do, with the fact that they put a named character in a battle pack. I do not like the idea of having a named character in a battle pack, but I mean, you could just rip off his visor and he'd just be a normal clone trooper, I guess, except he has that little, like, captain's thing, which, again, is cool because you can use in your 501st army since technically this is part of the 501st. It's just like a split talent of the 501st. Anyways, I'm very excited to get it. It's technically, you know, related to Ahsoka. I'm, I'm really ecstatic for it. I probably won't army build too much with this one, but super happy either way. I'm sad that the ghost doesn't come out. What was that? I'm sad the ghost doesn't come out till next month. I <laughs> thought it came out August 1st for some reason. The ghost, I want Ahsoka to come out. We only have like a month left until Ahsoka's on Disney Plus and I can't wait. I mentioned earlier we were just at Disney last week and I bought the Chopper Droid and I'm so happy. That was like the one thing I really, really wanted from Galaxy's Edge. So we need to go play with our droid and like freak out oh, yeah. Ladybird a little bit because That'll be funny. Little murder droid. By the way, you'll be able to check out the vlog of us at Disney World on Emily's new secret channel. Don't tell anybody. 
Emily K, link down below. All right, actually slight change of plans. We decided to go to Kohl's Numero Dos. It's the Kohl's that doesn't have as much good stuff, but hopefully we find something. There's a lot of Teslas here right now. Y'all are here for the Lego. You know what's a total bummer is I got $10 of Kohl's cash, but it doesn't start till tomorrow. Oh. So what's up with that? Yeah, that sucks. All that Ross is really after now in terms of Lego is the other two Minecraft sets. I think the wave he said has four sets and he wants all four of them. And then maybe another clone battle pack, maybe if they have it, but it's also the kind of thing he can find on sale and save a bunch of money in a few months. Hopefully I feel so much more at home here. This is my Kohl's. It's my local Kohl's. I know where stuff is. Oh, clearance. Don't tempt me with a good time. They have a bluey backpack, like a bluey little pencil pouch and then bandit and bluey. This is so cute. This toy section is so much more sad than the one we just saw. There's a lot of empty space on the shelves, whereas the other one was just fully packed. I will say the other one was messier though. This one's at least organized. That's true. What do you got? So What'd yeah, you find? Knuckles, the figure that Lego didn't put in the first wave of Sonic sets. But Aww. I'm guessing it's gonna be in the second wave. It has to be. All right, we just made it back to the Lego area. Let's see what they have. The Lego section looks pretty picked over as well. I don't see anything new here yet. They do have like Ninjago, the little otter battle pack. That one's really cute. A little bunny. But I don't see anything new yet. They have a little Disney train, but that came out in June, I believe. Or maybe it was May. I think that one actually might be new, but <laughs> I'm good without it. These are from the January wave for the most part. I asked Ross if the Minecraft sets are new here and that one is not. I think there's nothing new, which is okay. We can wait till August 1st. It was worth a shot. Back into the heat. I film most of my videos on my phone and just from being outside in the few minutes that I am or from filming in the car, it overheats and has overheated multiple times while trying to film this. Water. All right, what time is it, Ross? Chicken time. Yay! We're gonna go get some chicken. It's really hot in Texas when you go to Florida for vacation to escape the Texas heat. Oh, hi, Lady Bird. 